con. Like I was saying, there's a penalty for taking that chip, man. There's, there's a penalty for it, you know? Uh, I'm gonna get that penalty. This is Revelations. 14, 9 and 10. Lock your Israel, these pages, man. It's, they have pages sticking together. But we're gonna get it, though. There it goes. Right. Revelation 14, 9 and 10. And the third angel followed them, saying, with a loud voice, if any man worships the beast in his image, right? Take that mark. And receive his mark, meaning that chip. It says, in his right hand or in his forehead, it says, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture, right? What's the wrath of God? The thermonuclear destruction, man. This is that wrath right here. This is that this is that raft that it's talking about. This is the raft that's poured out without mixture. Right? Thermonuclear destruction. The ICBM intercontinental ballistic missiles. Right? Who the Lord has scientists. When you read Isaiah uh, 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 54, he has scientists to create the blacksmiths you read about, it, those are the modern day scientists who have took you 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 235 plutonium and uranium and put it together and created a uh, Nuclear fusion, man. Fusion, fusion. Nope. And these these bombs are going to be shot on America, man. You know, and all the countries have it. When you just read in Joel, it tells you that the weak say I'm strong because these weak countries who have labored in agriculture they have weaponry also, man. Now they have that weaponry also. You know. And it says, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, man. What's that cup of indignation, man? You know? His indignation is, 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 is famine, is pestilence. You know, his indignation is slavery, man. You know? Thermonuclear, you know? And it says, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone, which brimstone you go into that is sulfur, man. That's a hot burning agent. When you go over there, that's where Sodom and Gomorrah was, when, when the archaeologists dug into the ground, they found remnants of sulfur, man. Which that lets you know the Bible is true, because he rained fire and brimstone on Sodom and Gomorrah. And it says, in the presence of the holy angels, and in the presence of the Lamb, because Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, hey, as the nukes are being shot and, and blowing up this place, his presence is going to be in the sky because he's going to be there. Uh, also, prior to it, he's going to be blowing up stuff, man. Him and the angels. When you when you read in uh, Second Ezra the 13th chapter, and they're going to be bringing up the uh, uh, the uh, elect, man, beaming the elect up. You know, so people are getting that RFID chip, man. That's how we know we at the end of this thing, man. It's, it, it's thousands of people that have it right now. And they're making it convenient. That's why the people have it, man. But if you take that chip to the nation of Israel, we don't care if the other nations take it. That's on them. But to the nation of Israel, if you take that chip, then the Lord is going to deal with you, man. He's going to bring sore destruction on you. You know? Thus said the Lord of the Bible, man. It's written in the table, man. Written in the book. You know? He's, he's going to save that, that remnant, man. That elect. Uh... And that's what it's about. It's all about the elect, man. Uh, basically, it never was about nothing else. 
You know, he made he made the earth for our, for our sake, man. You know, Isaiah forty two and one. Behold, my servant, whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delighted. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles, man. When you go into that word, behold, it's basically talking about in the sense of a, of a prophet. My servant being the prophets, man. I buy us. Basically, we are slaves, man. We, we work to serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh We are slaves for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man. You know? It says, behold, my servant in whom I uphold, meaning who, who he laid who we lay hold on, who, hold, who we hold fast to, the ones who we support. The ones who he, he look to inquire of, man. You know? That 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 uh that election, man. It says, I have put my spirit upon him. The Lord tell upon him that elect. So everybody is, is not in the spirit, man. The spirit is not up on everybody, man. It's up on only on the elect, man. And it says, I have put my spirit upon him, and he shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles, man. We're going to bring judgment forth. That's like uh, uh, two, two, thir two thirds of our own people who are in that Gentile mind state, and we're bringing judgment to these natural Gentiles also, man. We're telling them their end, man. The destruction is near for them. We're telling them that slavery is their next uh, 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 big occupation, man. They're going to college to be lawyers and doctors when all that is going to be not, man. You need to go take some class on how to whip a, whip a hoe. You know, and not no female. I mean a, 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 a garden utensil. Whip a plowshare and a pruning hook, as the scriptures say. You need to take some class on how to get behind that plow. The real plow with the wheels and the anvil in it, digging up that ground, because that's going to be your next job, man. You know? Uh, Psalms. Psalm 16. Psalm 16 and uh, 5. And it says. The Lord Yahweh is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Thou, thou maintainest my lot, right? He said, "The Lord is thy portion, right?" So, the Lord, uh, 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 He's the only one. Uh, he's alone in my in our inheritance, man. And that cup is a cup of blessings, man. You know. You know. It says, thou, thou main, maintainest my lot, meaning he holds, he's holding our lot. He's securing our lot, man. Right? Need that kingdom, that kingdom of heaven, man. He has a special place for the elect. He has a special uh, 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 mansion waiting on the elect. He has special women that's waiting on the elect. You know, a special, uh, just a whole kingdom waiting on it. It's special. You know, he says, I read it again. Yahweh is the portion of mine inheritance. When you look up the word inheritance, it goes into uh, falah, the meaning what? To share or to uh, take part in a territory, a possession, right? An award from the Most High, Yahweh. That's what an inheritance is, man. On this side, when somebody die, you be like an inheritor. You know you're gonna inherit either a house or land or some money, man. So we look to inherit the kingdom, man, which is which is all the land and the basically like the heavens, man. The whole everything, the earth and all the other planets, the other billion planets that these scientists said that they're out there. We look to inherit all this, man. You know. We also look to inherit uh, 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 slaves too, man. And I'd read that too. Uh, that's part of our inheritance is to have slaves, man. And our people 
ruler, they don't want to have that ruling class mentality. They don't, they don't want to have that. This is uh, Isaiah 14 and 1. And it says, For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy upon Jacob. He will have that unfailing love on Jacob. It don't say nobody else right there. It doesn't add nobody. It just says Jacob, man. Jacob is the patriarch of the 12 tribes of Israel, man. So the Lord is going to have that mercy on Jacob and his children, the 12 tribes, man. And will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. We're not in our own land right now. We are in America, man. We're not, we're not in Jerusalem right now. But he says he's going to set us in our own land. This is a future prophecy, man. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. Those strangers are the Israelite foreigners, man. You know? Because our people, like I said earlier, we was reading, they were scattered to all, through all the nations. And we were broken into pieces, man. And through the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, he's bringing us back, converting us back, and bringing us back to the, to, to the true knowledge of who he is and who we are. Right? Like I say, he has that in an election, man. And it says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord, Yahweh, for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and there, and they shall rule over their oppressors, man. So what does that sound like? That sounds like somebody's going to be in, sub in subjection under someone else, whose captives they were. We were captured, man. We were brought to this land, man. It says we are going to do the same thing. We're going to rule over our oppressors, man. Esau is our oppressor right now. And that scripture just basically says we're going to rule over our oppressors. So that's a future prophecy, man. That hasn't happened right now. We're not in our homeland right now. We're not in Jerusalem, man. And for you people who think Africa is the motherland, no, it's Jerusalem. Galatians 4 and 26. You fled to Africa fleeing Roman persecution in 70 AD. That's how you got to Africa. You lived there 1,500 years before you were brought over here to America, man. You know? Uh, back in Isaiah. Back in Isaiah. Uh, uh, 42 and 1. Behold, my servant, whom I uphold, mine elect, man. When you look at that word elect, it's uh, Bukharia, meaning chosen, the choice one. From the uh, root word Bukhar, meaning selected, acceptable. The ones who are uh, 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 satisfactory, man. Adequate, right? The one who's real adequate, man. That's the elect, man. You know, the ones who are fulfilling the expectations, man. The decent ones, the ones who are doing the work. You know, it says, it says, mine elect in whom my soul delighted, man. Meaning who he's pleased with, you know who he's going to show favor to. And that's who he's going to show favor to, the elect, in that day when all hell breaks loose in this place, man. He's going to show favor unto that elect, man. I'll get one more. Baba Kasha. If I may. Uh, Isaiah 45 and 4. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name, and I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known. Right? So, it says, He had called you by your surname, which was, He changed your name from Jacob to Israel. You know? He called you by your name even when you didn't know Him, man. You know? That's why He called you to do this work. Because he chose you from those foundations. When you read in uh, uh, Ephesians, the first chapter, 
He chose you from the foundation. He chose you beforehand. You was there with the angels and you was there with the, with his son. Yahweh Shot, you was there when they was creating the worlds, man. When you read in Hebrews, the first chapter, man. When they created the worlds, man. Thine are mine. You know? So it's all about the elect, man. It's not about it's not about the two thirds. It's these the scriptures, the understanding. Everything is about the elect. It's about the elect coming doing the work, waking up the other elect, and, 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 and it's gonna be about the elect when they get spiritual powers. Some brothers, some elect gonna be martyrs, which is gonna be a great a great honor to be a martyr. If, if that's what it is, if that's your lot to be a martyr, it's gonna be a great honor. That honor is gonna be uh, up, uplifted and esteemed on a high level. It's going to be about the elect, man, getting them powers, doing work, putting in work. It's going to be about the elect running the next show, running the kingdom, man. Behind Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, King David, and the, and the 12, man, and then the elect men. And we, we, we look for that day to come soon, man. And with that... All praise be to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS who rule well, who Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has entrusted these men with this with this gospel, right? To, to, to lead the flock, man. Hey, hey honest to you brothers out there that's putting your life on the line, making yourself a living sacrifice for the elect, man. With that, brothers, keep pushing, keep your faith up, man. We almost out of here. Hey, a bob, a ball, a bob, a ball, a bob, a ball, a bob, out of womium, a bob, out of womium, a bob, out of womium, shalom.